hello guys in this lesson i'm going to show you why chromium and copper shows exception to the electronic configuration rule chromium and copper are the two elements on the periodic table that have shown exception to the electronic configuration rule but before understanding it we are aware that we write the electronic configuration using the SPDF orbital. An orbital is a region in a space where there is high possibility or probability of gaining electron or getting electron. So these electrons are S, P, D, F, and each of these orbital has the maximum electron it can contain for the s orbital it can take the maximum of two electrons so s orbital maximum of two electrons the p orbital take, can take the maximum of six electrons six electrons the d orbital takes the maximum of 10 electrons the maximum of 10 electrons and lastly the f orbital can take the maximum of 14 electrons 14 electrons so now when drawing the orbitals since the s orbital can take the maximum of two electrons it is always represented with only a box like this where the two electrons can enter one head up and the other one head down as a then for the p orbital since it can take the maximum of six electrons it is always represented or drawn using three boxes so two electrons each one face up and one face down up down up and down the d orbital now so we have one two three four and five so we have one electron two three four five six seven eight nine and ten then lastly the f orbital will take the maximum of 14 electrons so we have seven boxes right so one two three four five six and seven so we have two electrons in each box two electrons in each box let me see and lastly the last one so these are the orbitals another important thing we must note here is that these these orbitals are actually arranged according to their energy level so the lower the energy now those orbitals that have lower energy the electrons will always enter the first so now how can we arrange these orbitals based on their increasing energy so the easiest way to write it is using this method you write 1s 2s 3s 4s down to 7s 5s 6s 7s then we're going to make it in such a way that we'll have a triangle so omit for the p orbital we're not going to write one and seven so we'll be 2p 3p 4p 5p 6p we'll leave it here then we go for the d orbital leaving the first and the last so it's going to be 3d 4d and 5d then lastly the f orbital will omit the first and the last is going to be 4f so this is you can see we're having a, a triangle right then we the energy is going to be like this the first right then we have this can you see can you see
that's how the uh the energy level, the energy goes then arranging it is going to be 1s 2s then can you see coming here we have 2p 3s coming here is going to be 3p 4s then coming here is going to be 3d 4p 5s and so on and so forth so the fact that this one is 1 1s and this one is 2s that doesn't make it to have an extra electron all of them are s orbital and they will always take the maximum of two electrons so also p 3p and 2p all right since copper is number 29 and chromium is number 24 um i'm not going to waste time writing the electronic configuration of elements from one period, atomic number one that's hydrogen up to 29 or 24 would be better if I use those elements that are closer to these elements as short exception so that we can see uh, how they tend to deviate from the normal elements now okay starting with calcium calcium is number 20 we're going to start with 1s2 then 2s2 right then 2p6 then 3s2 3p6 and 4s2 give me a total of 20 electrons now if you check argon is from 1s to 3p6 right from here this is argon so the best way to write it here is that is to write argon here and carry this 4s2 and write it there 4s2 this is the short form of writing the electronic configuration of calcium so when you're going to draw the orbital we are not much concerned about this argon we always will just draw this like this we have the two electrons right then okay the next element there's 21 is scandium and scandium is argon 3d1 and 4s2 in this case you will find out that the 4s orbital is always written first before the 3d orbital this is due to the half bow principle of power principle the upper principle assumes that the 4s orbital is lower in energy than the 3d orbital hence it is filled first and when losing electron the 4s lose electron first before the 3d that's why you uh you can see 3d here before the 4s but ideally the 4s supposed to come first before the 3d so during the electronic configuration now the sorry the orbital now since it is 4 the 3d always have 1 2 3 4 5 so we have one electron and we have the this is a 3d and we have the 4s having two electrons right the next element is titanium uh, titanium right titanium is argon 3d2 and 4s2 right so we're going to do something like this one two three four five then we have 
4s so 3 3 and 4s so we have 1 2 and we have 1 and 2 remember we're going to enter it singly before pairing right then the next one is vanadium 23 is vanadium and vanadium is argon 3d3 4s2 right 1 2 3 4 and 5 this is 3d right and we have our 4s so 3d3 we have 1 2 3 and we have this the next element is chromium remember chromium is one of the elements we are focusing on so chromium is number 24 i'm going to write it a little bit bigger and bolder 24 right chromium it's going to be argon 3d 5 and 4s1 if you will notice something here this 4s orbital is supposed to have two electrons and this 3d is supposed to have four electrons but something is going on here it will be better if we we'll draw these orbitals to see what actually transferred so let me draw the orbitals somehow bigger we have one two three four and five this is a 3d then we have the 4s here 4s you know ideally it's supposed to be it's supposed to be one two three and four then this one is supposed to have two electrons right but you know what chromium will prefer to remove one electron from the 4s orbital this one here to this one electron from the 4s, 4s orbital bring it to the 3d subshell to contain one electron throughout which will be half filled so by the time we remove one electron from there and add it here it will be half filled all of them will have one one electron and do you know what it's going to create more stability so the reason why chromium prefer to stay in this nature is because of stability stability that's why it will prefer to move one of this electron to this so that it will be what half filled we call it or half fold sub shell just to create stability the next element which is the 25th element on the periodic table is manganese i'm going to write out of manganese then i will skip to nickel and write that of copper then we call it a day then we have 25 which is manganese manganese is argon 3d5 and 4s Two. So drawing it is going to be one, two, three, four, and five. Three D. Then we have one, two. That's the four S. And one, two, three, four, five. Right. That's it. So this one is normal. Then the next one, as we said, I'm going to skip is nickel which is 28 right remember there are some elements here before it say 28 is nickel which is argon 3d8 and 4s2 
4s2 so we're going to draw it it's going to be something like this one two three four and five three d then we have the four s right so eight we have the two electrons here then one two three four five six seven and eight right the next element is copper and uh, it's one of the most important element as far as this lesson is concerned because we're focusing on why chromium and copper actually show exception to the electronic configuration rule so copper is number 29 let me have a little bit space 29 is 29 so we say copper so the electronic conversion of copper is argon 3d10 and 4s1 can you see you notice it that this 4s supposed to have two electrons but it's having one electron and this is supposed to have 3d9 but it's having 3d10 what happened i think it might be the same situation that with that of chromium so let's draw it and see one two three four and finally five so 3d and we have the 4s so ideally it's going to be like this so let me enter it like this. So this one is supposed to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then this one is supposed to have two electrons. But it will prefer to move the one electron from the 4s orbital to the 3d orbital to be filled up and it will be stable so it will move this one here from here to this place so it will prefer the 3d to have a complete shell and it will be having less one electron less so something like this like this and it is very very stable very very stable so i hope you understand why chromium and copper show exceptions to the electronic configuration rule thanks for watching see you in the next lesson